five, four, three, two, one. Fight robots fight for real this time. Okay, Kitten Mittens turning their way around. They overturned a little bit there. They're trying to do the walk. They're controlling themselves, kinda. It's actually really impressive how that thing maneuvers itself around the box. They're really able to keep the front of their robot pointed. It's very scary, a little disconcerting. Grudge Frog trying to find a good angle. They do not want to get anywhere near that spinner if they can avoid it. They want to keep their robot mostly one piece. Whoa, -ho -ho! look out. Grudge Frog, be careful. That thing is a robot eater. Even Fluffy is keeping its distance from Kitten Mittens. Kitten Mittens with its cute little kitty cat ears. Kyle, that thing is menacing. Oh yeah, it's absolutely terrifying, but it's also got like a degree of cute, which makes it a little bit more disconcerting in my opinion. Whoa, oh, there we go. These robots finally reached out and touched each other. All right, Kitten Mittens, will it be able to self right? Yes, and uh, wow, I've got to say, Grudge Frog, even though it is chunked up right there in the front, the weapon's still spinning, the bot is still moving. It's just a mound of aluminum that is supposed to be a certain shape, it is now not. And now Grudge Frog finds themselves in a scary position and they are backing out. Yes, sir. Back right out of there. Don't be anywhere near that. The Grudge Frog team wants to preserve their robot. They have uh, lost a huge chug armor. Kitten Mittens getting up to speed. And now it is now another game of cat and mouse as we get into the last minute of this fight. This is a really exciting 12 pound final. Kind of reminds me of uh, like old submarine movies. You know, these two bots are trying to find each other. Oh, and when they do, the results are devastating. Grudge Frog is stuck up on the, uh, the side, and there goes Fluffy. Fluffy here to help. Aggressive assistance from Fluffy. All right. Yeah, what's Will. going on? There Will. he goes. Kitten Mittens is walking itself over. Try oh, it maybe overwalked a little bit. Now I need to see some motion from Grudge Frog. Grudge Frog, are you moving? No, I think Grudge Frog is, uh, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a knockout. Kitten Mittens with two devastating blows on Grudge Frog. Grudge Frog was not able to keep fighting after that second blow. Kyle, standing ovation for Kitten Mittens. Yeah, 100%. Well done, Kitten Mittens. That was a great fight. This is a devastating robot. Simplicity at its finest, and it wins this competition. That thing is scary. Like, Absolutely terrifying. It, it, it has more maneuverability than it looks like. Yeah, than it definitely should have. As you're, as you're trying to get around to the side of it, it is capable of really just kind of swinging around. And, and the most incredible thing here is that it looks like Grudge Frog has had its whole head caved in. Yeah, absolutely. So picture this, Luke. You've walked into your house. Yep. You've closed the door. You've hung up your jacket. All of a sudden, out of the kitchen, out of the bedroom, <laughs> out of the foyer. Yep. From all directions, kitten mittens. Just, just multiple. Regular size, 15-pound kitten mittens. Yeah. Just walking towards you. I mean, I think that might be the most terrifying thing. Kyle, this, uh, I, I really want to see if we can see this one hit where, where uh, Grudge Frog gets its whole head caved in. Because it looks graphic. It is here. graphic. The fact that Grudge Frog is functioning as well as it is after that hit. That armor did a great job absorbing all that impact and protecting the internals, but man, what a hit. I don't know about you, but I would love to see Grudge Frog. I don't know if, uh, if Funny can hear me. Or, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Kitten Mittens as well. Oh my God. Wow. All right. Now, now Luke, congratulations. Fantastic.
Was this the, uh, the outcome that you were expecting when you uh, flew all the way here from Colorado? Wow. Uh, no, not at all. Um, I mean, there, there was only, this robot's only really had two matches, so yeah. I would say, you know, making it to the finals and winning uh, with just two wins is, is pretty awesome. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how it performed. Um, it, uh, it did everything it needed to do. It, it took some hits, and uh, every once in a while it gets a really big hit in, and sometimes that's all you need to do. Now, Kitten Mittens looks totally unscathed. I mean, like, look at this robot. Like, you're ready to go again. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, I never charged the batteries. Uh, it's, uh, it's ready to go. I'm ready for rumbles or any grudge matches. So uh, if, if anyone wants to do some more matches, I'm ready. Uh, this guy <laughs> just won the tournament, and he's yep. saying, who wants some more? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying, my friend. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I think that you could probably take on a 30-pounder. I mean, like, this thing is really, really nasty looking. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got a you know it's it's got almost a six pound weapon, which would be decent for uh, for a thirty pounder. It doesn't spin very fast, but uh, it could do some damage. Um, so yeah. Uh. I I am so surprised by like how maneuverable that is. You know, like like as you're trying to to, to come around the back. I mean, like you could really twist kitten mittens to, to get into your opponent's face. Yeah, it's definitely not easy to drive. Um, this is the second gyro walker I built, so I've, I've had some practice, but it's, it's definitely tricky because um, it can only go so far in one direction, and you have to be aware of how far it can tilt, and once you've exceeded that point, yeah. you can only go the other direction. But if you go too fast or too slow, um, it'll, it might not do what you want it to. So sometimes I'll just keep it articulated, wait for the opponent to get directly behind me, and I know it'll take half a second to... Uh, to uh, turn back around. So it, it takes a lot of driving practice. Um, it's not easy to drive, but uh, you know, it, with enough practice, uh, you can make it work. This thing is fantastic. I think it's beautiful. It's really scary. And uh, I can't wait to see it again. I mean, I can't wait to see its third outing, its fourth outing. Like, uh, this, this is really a, a marvel of engineering. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely coming back in December. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll get some more matches in and try to make it look good. Yeah, all right. Awesome. Incredible. I love it. Thank you so much. Congratulations on winning the tournament, and uh, congratulations on qualifying for the final. That's fantastic. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, thanks, Luke.